Hey guys, welcome back to VR Essentials for another tutorial of the Meta Quest 3 today. Do go and check out the previous video yesterday as we spoke about how to actually record video, change the various different formats as well as the bit rate and other things. So do go and check out this after today's video. Today we're talking about how to change from 90 hertz to 120 hertz and why perhaps you may want to do that so before i go and show you how it's done one of the reasons why because you may want to change from 90 hertz to 120 hertz in your meta quest 3 is because some of the games the higher the frame rate basically hertz means frame rate so the higher the frame rate the more frames there will be per second and then the more you can anticipate what's coming next first of all inside of the frame so for example if you have two people who are playing together one at 90 one 120 hertz then the person who's playing at 100 hertz will be able to see things coming sooner after the frame so it's very very good for example for shooters especially when you're hiding behind something and then suddenly you see your opponent coming at 120 hertz you'll be able to see it faster sooner not by much by many seconds but maybe sometimes that's just enough compared to 90 hertz the other thing of course is that you will get less normally latency in the games which means it will be running more or less better smoother than if you're running at 90 hertz and thirdly also they should be running faster so you'll feel that everything is moving much faster it's a bit like latency so it's much smoother um just the playability everything inside just feels just more magical more magical uh, than playing with 90 hertz which could sometimes although the differences are very minimal here to be honest with you um, sometimes just means that you know you may get some bottleneck uh, some latency maybe when something one scene versus another scene that's loading will load slower in 90 hertz versus 120 hertz which should load normally faster also when you click on load or you go from one scene to another scene like you go through a door and then you have to wait for something to turn inside of the VR headset itself then it will go faster so it will load the scene a bit faster now do bear in mind that the higher the frame rate the faster it's going to get hot this thing here and also it could affect the battery so normally it's supposed to be two hours and a half but so far although i haven't done a test reports have come out to say that the meta quest 3 is only running at about one hour and a half when using things like beat saber or synth riders or anything you know that that is pretty beefy in terms of graphics so do be aware of this and do make sure to power off your headset after usage don't just press it once press and hold until you don't see any lights or inside you see the logo and then it will power off or you have to click on the power off fyi just a pro tip there in case you just click once and you think it's gone off no it hasn't it just went on standby and when it's on standby it can still eat the battery just FYI. All right, let me show you how to change from 90 hertz to 120 hertz. As by the way, not every single game is powered to 120 hertz. So it may not work with every single VR experience in the Meta Quest 3, just so you know. So the developers of the actual games need to download what is called an SDK, implement it inside of their game, and make sure that their game is running at 120 hertz before. When you switch this on it will make any differences whatsoever otherwise if you choose 120 hertz but you're playing a game that doesn't have the 120 hertz it's not going to make a difference in fact in sometimes some games it may actually create more issues more latency some bugs some things won't work and if that happens then it's most probably because it's supposed to be running at 90 hertz and not 120 you could go online on youtube just to make sure or on google search just to make sure that if you do have an issue with a specific game that it is supposed to be running at 120 hertz if not then there is your answer all right let's jump into vr all right so we're inside of the actual quest all you have to do is go to the settings which is down here basically and then just go to system which is there and then just go to display which would be the first one at the very top and then you could toggle here basically 90 hertz or 120 hertz because the headset is natively in 90 hertz and also so basically this will enable you to make sure that you increase the display rate to 120 hertz when requested by supported apps this may affect battery usage 
headset temperature and the visual quality on some system features as well. And by the way, do remember that also when you're casting to a phone or a television, especially having it on 90 hertz or 120 hertz, depending on the TV that you have, might also increase uh, lagging at some times I found. So do be aware of this as some TVs do not like 120 hertz casting and some prefer 90 hertz. So if you're casting to TV and you find you have some lagging issues or something, just turn this off and then bring it back to 120 hertz. It is also possible, by the way, that you may actually need to restart your headset after you change this in order to make sure that the actual refresh rate change has been applied so that's it for that so now basically what we can do is we can just log out all right i'll see you outside of vr and by the way today's video is sponsored by vr dash wave door store five percent discount everybody five percent discount using the promo code vr essentials as we try to provide you well i try to provide you discounts as well not just promote something for the sake of promoting it because i've been working them for four years with the hp reverb g2 all right everybody so i do hope that you found today's tutorial about how to change it to 90 to 120 hertz and why sometimes it's beneficial to be using 120 hertz everybody as you can see it's pretty simple and as i mentioned inside of the quest 3 you may need to restart your quest 3 just to make sure that it has actually changed to 120 hertz do go online before you buy the game perhaps or perhaps or before you start playing the game perhaps just go online make sure it does support 120 hertz so then you can actually make the changes and see the differences between the games i will also try to find the list of all the meta quest 3 games that do run at 120 hertz so do hit the notification bell after you subscribe for that juicy video and other videos coming very soon all right guys until next time take it easy i'll see you in this video or maybe in that video but yeah have a lovely evening a great day ahead or a great week or weekend coming soon depending when you're watching this video all right bye 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 bye